<sighs> What's up, Chip? Oh, I'm just feeling a little depressed. Yeah, I don't blame you. With all the bad news going around lately, it seems like the whole world's on fire. You know what I like to do is think- What? No, I just want a Tesla. I just want a fat, sexy Tesla with all the bells and or whistles. My depression will be over when I get a Tesla. Well, Chip, you're gonna love today's sponsor, Omaze. Chip, remember when they offered you a custom Tesla Model S? Well, Gail from San Francisco, California won. Okay, good for Gail, I guess, but like, how does that help me? Because this time, Chip, Omaze is offering you the chance to win a Tesla Model S Plaid. Oh my god. Yeah, my god, we're talking a 1,020 horsepower engine, 17-inch display, and take a look at this. What the hell is that steering wheel? That's the coolest thing I've ever seen. And I've seen my dad naked. And Chip, it gets better. Every donation supports Reverb. They partner with musicians, festivals, and venues to make concerts more green. And guess who one of their partners is? Oh my god, stop it. You know I'm obsessed with Dave Matthews and his wonderful band. So like, what do I do? Go to omaze.com slash jacksfilms, link in the description, and enter for your chance to win. Again, Chip, every donation supports Reverb, so go to omaze.com slash jacksfilms, donate today, and get that Tesla with the laughably ridiculous steering wheel. Thanks, guys. I feel happier already. I love you. Roses are red, violets are blue. And just four words. Write a haiku. TikTok. Emoji movie. Shrek. The woo. Yesterday, I asked you. Yay. Yesterday, I asked you, what do you want your funeral to be like? Here are your lifeless answers. <laughs> Ominously play Pop Goes the Weasel the entire time. <laughs> the spotlight on my coffin. The suspense. I would kill someone, put my ashes, in one of those t-shirt cannons, and whoever <laughs> and whoever catches the most, I don't know. This is nice though, it turns the funeral into more of an event. A game, if you will. Cannonball funeral. Put my body in a cannon, bury me where I land. <laughs> one suggestion, can there be like a little bullseye maybe? And people can bet on how many points they win? Something to think about. I mean, you'll be dead, so it doesn't matter. My coffin needs to be big enough for the ears on my fursuit. Thanks, typical furry. It's not a guy without you. I want there to be like 20 different caskets and whoever can guess which one has my body in it wins all of my inheritance. I'll um, pick the one with um, all the flies around it. I want to be frozen with liquid nitrogen and every attendant gets a hammer to break me into little pieces they can take home. Well, that's just lovely. It is rest in peace after all. <laughs> Hmm, the Curb Your Enthusiasm theme will be playing <laughs> as my body is lowered into the grave. There would be a dry eye in the house. Okay, <clears throat> all right, this one won't be funny at all. Everyone, <laughs> everyone is fully nude, including me. First one to look, <laughs> first one to look uncomfortable pays for the funeral expenses. I like that one. Oh, that's the best game of chicken I've ever heard of. See, the, the funerals that turn them into games, those are the best funerals. Gamify your funerals, please. That's the takeaway from today. I want my funeral to be an escape room. <laughs> and the final key, <laughs> come on, come on. I'm not gonna say that. To be fair, I love escape rooms. Is this the best yai ever? It's up there. I want to have a bouncy house at my funeral, and I want to be in it <laughs> and bounce with the children. <laughs> a very fitting contribution from, from God I'm sad. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know why I'm laughing so much. This is a very somber, Somber eye. Somber eye. I want someone to tie a get well soon balloon to my wrist. Very wishful thinking. I think that works in a Hallmark Christmas movie. An empty room with a voice recording of me shit talking everyone who was invited. They must atone for their sins. I mean, it's not like they can talk back to you. This one's a little too good for a guy. Like it's kind of evil, but like wholly deserved. Just as everyone finishes saying their eulogies, a group of restaurant employees will come out from the bushes and start singing a happy, happy birthday song. They're there for your birthday. They should also be there for your death day. Circle of life. Someone drops the coffin as they are carrying it toward my grave. A device plays a recording of me saying, ow, careful, 
from inside the casket. I've actually seen something very similar to this online. I want to say it was an Irish funeral and the deceased had previously recorded themselves saying things like, nah, it's fucking dark in here. You know, I can't see anything. And the video showed everyone in the family like, <laughs> laughing. Like it actually seemed like a great idea. So because Sam, this is already kind of a real thing, I am going to subtract 100 Yai tokens from your wallet. And I'm giving those 100 Yai tokens to Hugh Mackey on YouTube for writing the Curb Your Enthusiasm theme one. I want to be taxidermied in a sick pose. Then everyone at the funeral has to take a fun selfie with my body. Can they also hold up those dumb props that they have at, at those like photo shoots? at weddings and such. Like little arrows that say, I'm with stupid. You know what I'm talking about, right? Like like the photo booth stuff. Like there's a backdrop and there's just like a bucket full of shit and it's like masks and hats and accessories and signs and shit. And the signs say things like bestie, uh, hashtag blessed. I don't have to explain myself to you, you get it. And next time on Jack Angrily Explains Things. I want everyone to be in the... the <laughs> I want everyone to be in the Garfield fursuit as, as they come. <laughs> There's a lot going on. I want everyone to be in the Garfield fursuit as they kiss my dead corpse on the lips. My casket would be this. <laughs> and they'll have a dance party as I get tied to a fan <laughs> fly around the room. Please tell me this casket is a Photoshop job and not, you know, a real photograph. For the first time ever, I don't want to believe. Personally, string up my body to do the Macarena whenever someone comes to pay their respects. I mean, by the time you die, I predict the Macarena will have come back in style. If it hasn't already, it's probably a TikTok dance. It's probably one of those dances that TikTokers do to like point to like facts about around them. Did you know that billionaires are bad? You know, like that kind of stuff. Love TikTok. I love when people unnecessarily dance to facts. It's just really cool. It's, it's how facts should be presented. It's certainly not a pet peeve of mine. Nope. Oh God, Kyoya, here we go. What everyone wants it to be, an epic, Coffin <laughs> unboxing video. That's awesome. Okay. No, it's great. You can talk about how the model's obsolete. You can say how there was some damage to the product. Morbid, very morbid. When everyone gets to my funeral, I want the song, I Believe I Can Fly, to come on. Then my body just gets flung out of the casket with a bunch of flower petals. Again, a, a target or bullseye, I think would really accentuate the experience. Whoever cries first, has to do a body shot of fireball off of my dead body. Oh, oh, come on. Fireball. JK, that's easy. No chasers allowed. Like you need a chaser after fireball. Cinnamony goodness. Although I think what you're asking for is, you know, there are many laws against it, but it's your funeral. <laughs> While the pastor is delivering the eulogy, all the doors shut and lock and suddenly it's a Saw movie and the keys are in my brain. G -G Gary. Gary. Sounds fun. People, I'm telling you, game of fire funeral. I just want a group of middle schoolers to deliver a PowerPoint presentation that they made the night before on my life. You think middle schoolers know what PowerPoint is? I feel like that's a very millennial technology. Probably why this joke works. I want everyone to hide in the chapel with the lights off and yell surprise when my wife and grieving family arrive. <laughs> this is horrible. This is terrible. Mm -mm. You get three eye tokens. <laughs> I want at least five sponsors. My life may be temporary, but the grind is forever. Hero, don't think just because you're dead you can't plug. I would have the person doing my eulogy have random phone pings play at random points. Then they pretend to get mad at the audience. Elaborate, but I could see it work. <laughs> oh, just, you just wrote wet. Okay, terrifying. I don't want to spend too much time thinking about that. I want an open casket funeral with the inside filled with all my body pillows and, anim <coughs> and anime figurines. <coughs> Sorry, that answer was so good. I could barely get it out. A true weeb to the end. I need lived, laughed, loved, engraved into the casket and my forehead for good measure. This is a good one. I'm surprised I haven't heard or seen this one before. Genuinely, the difference one letter makes. Is my corpse being thrown from a trebuchet out over the Grand Canyon too much to ask? I don't think it's too much to ask at all. Just make sure that at the bottom of the Grand Canyon, that's right, there's a big target with a bullseye. Oh, I have a question for you. You just dropped your first album. What's its name 
And what's your hit single? Leave your answers in the comments below. I'll pick my favorites in the next episode of Yai. Please subscribe to catch my ashes in your mouth. Also click right here to the previous episode. Ah, uh, here's a clip. What four words would your friends and family use to describe you? Hungry, horny, hippo bitch. And this is what you scream when you win. Why we got divorced. Joe Biden's booty call. Oh, that's who Joe's calling? Great son, better orphan.